Hey, what's up, guys? In this video, I'm talking about is content in MCC getting too easy? Short answer, yes. But, not really at the same time. It's yes for end game players, no for everyone else. Um, so, the, I came to this conclusion because... So, we haven't had new content in the game for a while. And then this month came out and we got the new variant and new Act 7.1. Or Book 2, Act 1, Chapter 1, whatever the fuck you want to call it, I don't care. The problem is, as an end game player like myself, listen, I am not going to sound spoiled, okay? I'm not trying to sound spoiled. But... The only issue with having all of these characters at rank 5 and rank 2 6 stars, rank 3 6 stars, the only problem is this game kind of, like, lost its fear factor in a way. Like, like I have no more fear factor in the sense that any new piece of content that I release, I know I'm just going to be able to blast through. It's kind of boring. So, um, you know, we haven't encountered in a while. I was hoping that this would be hard. Um, I knew X7 wouldn't be too hard because I did the beta. So I said, you know what, I'll try to do it itemless, okay? And then I did it itemless, and that was it. That was it. Got to the new variant, and I pretty much did it itemless except for one path, because I just couldn't be asked to buy the Resignate Mastery. So, but it wasn't really like, I had a skill reason why I had to use items, but I 100 percent of it. I think they need to add a new difficulty. Because Variant, like, when Ultron's Assault came out, it took me, like, a full year after this thing was released to, like, actually get it 100%. The Mystery and Malco Realms took me, like, a good, like, six months. Polar Opposites took me, like, only, like, two, three months. It wasn't that long. Waning Moon, it took me, like, about a month, not even. Blood and Venom, I did it in the first day. And then Contamination, I did it, like, in the first day, pretty much. So... We're noticing a trend that I don't know if it's really that the variants are getting easier, but over the years my accounts just gotten a lot better. And I know a lot of end game players feel this too, but because players, you know, complained about Act Six and you know it got nerfed. Obviously there were some bullshit fights, but some things that got nerfed in Act Six and people like hated on, I don't think was that big of a deal. Like for example, the champion fight. In 6.2.6, people absolutely despise this path, okay? I mean, this quest, because the final champion boss was a big roadblock for people. But the thing is, this was a, this was a really just a fight of skill more than anything else. Um, a lot of characters can one-shot this guy. Um, I do agree with... Oh, crap, sorry. I do agree with them um, removing the... Where is it? There was one, I think it was this one. Or is it? I think it's this one, actually. I do agree with them um, changing this from Connect Transference to, what was it before? Like, um, the Dash Track one where you degen, um, no retreat. That was bullshit, but, like, the actual fight itself, they nerfed it, and now they made it a lot easier than what it used to be. Which is fine, but they've been nerfing it, and X7 came out, and it was really just easy. Like, there was no, like, brain power involved. And basically what I'm going with this is they need to make the game harder because n newer players, okay, getting the variants, I think the variants are at a good point right now. But what I think they need to be doing for the next variant is I think they desperately need to release a difficulty after variant because, honestly, it is like no endgame player struggles with this shit. People are just running through it in the first day. I miss the olden days when there were some niche fights and I had to like think of a solution on my roster and bring it in and or rank up a certain character. Or I miss the days where I had to like use brain power basically. That's what I loved about the Abyss. Even though the, the Abyss has its own set of problems, what I liked about the Abyss is it took me a while to complete. It took me like four, six months. It kept my kept it kept me busy by farming units and revives in between each path. But after Abyss, I was pretty much done with everything in the game. And nothing else was keeping me busy. That's the problem with an endgame roster. Everything that gets released, you can just blitz through. I, w I don't want them to make Variant harder for like newer players, because I think Variant's at a good difficulty. I don't think they need to make Variant harder. What I do think they need to do is increase the second difficulty. Because honestly, endgame players, um, people I've been noticing are starting to get more and more burnt out, because... There's just nothing to, like, like, do, really, in the game. Like, there's nothing to keep our attention. 
if they release a new piece of content, but it's like not really hard enough for us to like use that much brain power on. We just blitz through it. And it's just an issue with burnout. Like I'm feeling burnout of this game. I'm not going to quit playing it, but I, I know a lot of people are. And a lot of people are also feeling burnout because things are just getting just easier and easier. This recent variant was probably the easiest one except for one path. This one path that was straight kind of bullshit, but other than that, like it was so easy. Um, and yeah, it's just uh, there's no there's no more of, like fear factor in the game, bro. I just know whatever they release, it's just gonna get destroyed in like a day. What I want Kabam to do is acknowledge that end game players are kind of bored with the game at the moment. I've had this game since its release. But the first five years of me having this game, five of the last six, I've been behind. I've been like, I wasn't like really like bad, but I was, I wasn't quite end game, but I was close to end game for the last five years. I've always been trailing behind it a little bit. The last five years, I've always had a piece of content to do. There was never a time when I had everything 100% in the game. And it all changed in like mid year of 2020 when I 100% of the abyss. That was the first time since I played the game. Well, I'm officially caught up with everything in the game. I've done all the variants, all the story content, everything. So, all and all the special quests, I guess. So, like, there was nothing really to do. I just felt kind of like an emptiness. And I know a lot of people are feeling this burnout. And I definitely do think they're making this game easier because people complain all the time. Good example also is, um, if we compare book two, okay, chapter one or act 7.1 compared to act six chapter two i would argue that this is a lot harder and it shouldn't be that way they nerfed a lot of the bullshit parts of the of chapter two and it's still harder than 7.1 which makes me a little bit concerned because it's just everything's getting it should be getting harder over time not easier uh, harder, but let me just rephrase, hard doesn't equal put 100,000 attack on all the enemies so they one shot you through your block, or it doesn't equal a combination of bullshit nodes. What it does equal is just hard content that you actually have to use skill around. Like, for example, this quest, uh, probably one of the hardest quests in all of act content in general. The global node is extremely hard, okay? But it's not really bullshit, you can play around it with skill. You mix that with the class pass, which is you need to have, for the each path, you need to have five of a certain five-star class type. As much as people hated this, I think for Act 7, they should bring something like this back. Because Act 6 makes sense, because Act 6 was the first con um, story content, okay, where you can't bring four stars. So people didn't really have that good of options. Like, I remember when I was doing I didn't have really good, like, five good um, cosmic options. Now, in Act 7, if you've done Act 6 and you're in Act 7, you definitely have a pretty good roster for every class in the game. So I think for Act 7, they need to bring something like this back because I need to be forced to use characters that I don't use all the time. I'm using the same characters, the same like 10 characters in rotation are just getting cheesed down. This is the final quest in 7.1, okay? And I would honestly argue 6.1 could be considered harder, sorry. But like with that final crossbones, for example, there was like no roadblock in all of Act 7. I think there kinda should be some roadblocks because if there's not, if there's nothing that's considered like roadblock potential, then where's the fun? You just kinda run over everything. If nothing's hard enough to be considered a roadblock, then like nothing's hard. Like everything's just easily run over. The hardest path in Act 7, isn't even like it, it was hard for me because I did itemless, but like if I was actually able to pop revives, I could do it in like two, three revives. Like it wouldn't be that hard. It was what was it? Is this path the vivified path? I just think they're like making it so easy now. We're like end game players are kind of losing like like f the fun element. Like nothing's hard anymore. This is probably the hardest path in six, uh, seven point one, and even it's it's not even that hard itself. There's, what, like six fights in every lane, the nodes aren't that hard, and then there's just a boss. Like, I enjoy what they did with X7. I enjoyed the three boss system. I enjoyed the selector. 
but it was just so face roll. It was just not fun. They need to add. I, I know people don't like hearing this, but like they need to add harder content, bro. Not for newer players. I think they shouldn't. I think, but for an Act Seven. This is like end game players are in Act Seven. It should be harder than what it is. Act Seven is like a lot easier than Act Six, and that doesn't make much sense. It should be harder, not easier. But once again, let me re re reiterate. Um, harder doesn't mean bullshit. There's a difference between a hard and skill, and just putting bullshit fights. Like I don't know, like I don't know, like um. Like that Mysterio that had like one counter to it in the entire game, yeah, whatever it was. They need to add hard content, but not bullshit content, which is, I guess, a f fine line. But they can do it. I believe in them. And what I all I need them to I need them to make Act Seven harder, and I need them to make a different and higher difficulty for these variants. These variants they're fun, but they're so face roll, dude. I think variants are at a good difficulty for new players. New players that just have done like one run through act six or like they're like not like they're like barely not cavalier they're really close this is where this um content shines for them okay because their rosters they're not super op with their face on everything but at the same time it's not so easy that they're just face on it's not so easy they can just face on everything but it's still a good enough challenge for them and they're having fun they feel like they earned it for me i mean it's just not even like i'm not even using brain power like that's the biggest part about this game. I, I think Brian Grant said it best. I don't know how exactly he said it. But what he says is the fun part about this game is figuring out solutions and bringing characters you might not expect to f f um, find a solution, using some sort of brain power to find a solution for fights that you just, um, you know, are difficult and challenging. And, you know, maybe going in a few times in the quest, practicing the node or whatever, getting the hang of it, you, you feel more accomplished when you beat it. But for Act 7, you know these fights are just so like, like there's nothing hard about it it's just straight face roll dude act seven should not be easier than act six i'm i want to look forward to content that will actually make me like question my roster look at it and be like okay who should i rank up for this path who who have i not considered who could i rank up that i don't already have but uh, the content they're releasing it's just like my top 10 characters can pretty much do 100 percent of the content and i'm not even like having to use any sort of brain power I want to see some sort of content that's making me look at my roster and be like, hmm, I don't know, maybe ranking up, I don't know, Vision Arcus or Storm Pyramid X could, could be the best counter. I'm not exactly like that, but like I need, I need some kind of, like I need, I, I need to be using my brain a little bit. This game is coming less and less fun the less and less I have to use my brain. I like being challenged, and I know not everyone likes being challenged, but I don't know how you enjoy that. You just if people don't like a challenge like what is the point of playing the game like is it fun for you to just like destroy everything without even using brain power i mean if that's fun for you then cool but like that's what i loved about abyss it didn't take me two days to complete it bro it took a few months and that's what kabam said in their forum post i remember their forum post said something like it won't take a few days to explore it'll take maybe a few months and it's true unless you spent money and you bought a shit ton of units but as a free to play player I haven't, so it was fun for me because I didn't just buy 10 Odins and just revive through everything. This is the content I like to see, the content that like makes me use my head, makes me plan out my paths, you know, think what is the best team I could make for this content, and yeah, that's pretty much it. I think I've made my point pretty clear. I think you guys know it's true, too. The game, at least if you're an endgame player, it's just, just face roll. Map 7 AQ is just face roll. Alliance War is just not fun, so no one really cares about it. Um, incursions is just, I mean, fine. The Cavalier difficulty, fine. But once again, Cavalier difficulty is just so face roll. Like, I'm not, like, I remember when Uncollected first came out, and, like, I actually had to use a few potions every month and a few revives because there were some hard boss fights. And now it's just like, eh, whatever, just use Ghost or Quake. It'll probably one, it'll probably be a one shot. So, yeah. I just want more challenge. Um, so, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Definitely write com uh, your comments down below. I'm curious what you guys think. Because this content, I think we've known for a while now. It's been getting a little bit more snowflakey. And Kabam is trying to be all-inclusive. Let everyone have a go at it. But I think it needs to be a little bit more restrictive. Or that's not the fun in it. Like, it needs to have a few fights in every chapter that's, like, only a few counters for. 
only because then I'm like, oh, I don't have a counter. Let me save up some crystals for this guy with a dual class. Hope to get him. I, I just don't want to be in a spot where I just like can easily face roll everything in the game without using my brain. So yeah, I, I want to be able to think out the side of the box once in a while, but the recent content is just not showing that. So yeah, recap of the video, make Act 7 a lot harder and make the variants have a higher difficulty like ultra variant or I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what the third um, difficulty would be called. I mean, a classic, no one does it. Variant, which everyone does. And there needs to be a difficulty for, like, throne breakers that, like, actually, like, expands your roster and, like, makes you think. So, yeah. Tell me what you guys think. And, yeah, see you guys in the next one. And peace.